around with a gun or a knife in my pocket expecting something to happen. But I do want to be prepared for it. Let me go get my gun. <laughs> Jeff is going to get his gun. Master Canine is a club that I want to help other people train their dogs. If a person wanted to buy a protection train pit, me personally, I wouldn't really advise it. You know, you have a lot of trainers out here that's not training that dog the proper way. To teach the dog the proper way, you can't do it in a year. Drop him right there. Drop him. You know, it, it just takes, you know, two or three years to get a properly trained protection dog. Stay. Having a biting dog and, and don't have the obedience in it that you should, to me, that's not a protection dog. Gator is a pit bull pup. He's probably about a year old. Gator has a bad attitude. He hasn't been socialized. Take him out here and walk him around a little bit. He's dog aggressive. He's people aggressive. He's a beautiful dog. He just has a bad attitude. Really, he's a danger. Today, we're going to try to calm him down a little bit. You know, if you see something like that and you have a chance to correct it, it's a fun thing to do, you know, to me. No, no. Okay, all right, let's uh, bring him over here. Oh, we're not making him mean. Oh, we're taking it, trying to take it from you. Right, 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 right. That's no! No! <laughs> Walk it again, all right? Heel, heel! No, no, no! No, no, no! Sit up, sit up. Well, I told you it was a problem? <laughs> no! Good boy. He's a problem. Good boy. After we get through working with him, you know, he's gonna be okay. Uh, it could be a number of things that made him no. the way he is. He could have been on a chain no. all his life with his puppyhood. He could have been uh, agitated from people as a puppy coming up, you know, facing them off, having people teasing. The main thing is that he wasn't socialized. He wasn't allowed to be a puppy. I don't think it's bad blood because Archie has his sister too. And, and she's not like this. So uh, to me, it kind of looks like a, a, a human error. You know, I don't, I don't blame it on the dog. I blame it on Good the boy, person man. not socializing the dog enough Good or boy. taking him out, exposing him to different things Good at a young boy, age. Gator. And Good Arch boy. just got him Good not boy, too long man. ago. He, is, <laughs> he did not Good raise boy. him from a pup. Yeah. Let's do it one more time, Arch. Good then boy. take him off and play with him. You have to keep doing this and keep doing this till he realizes that the person is not a threat to him. You know, and as it goes on, I'll find out what he really likes doing and I'll start having a little fun with him. But right now, the thing is for me to get close to him. A pit bull, he is the warrior of all dogs. But if you socialize him, then he's just like any other dog. You're supposed to raise a dog as, as, as part of your family. And if you can't do that, then you don't need it. You can't be 90% committed and own a pit bull. Their needs, what's required, all of it is so much more than owning a regular dog. I love training other people's pit bulls. The style that I'm comfortable with is a Buddhist approach as opposed to a Christian approach. A Christian approach would be about behavior equals consequence. If you do this, you get this. If you don't, then you'll have to experience this pain. Karma dog training, it's about the process used. The process literally becomes the goal. So the process is the goal in every moment. With pit bulls, much more so than other dogs, I immediately have a bond with them. I don't know why, for whatever reason, I just come in and I feel like the love that I have for the dogs, I guess it comes across and the dogs immediately feel loved. Now, just because I believe in karma, I'm not against 
regulations for pit bull owners, people who want to own powerful breeds. I think it's very irresponsible to just hand over the keys to a pit bull. The consequences are too drastic. It's because they were bred to fight other dogs. Now, when a, when a pit bull attacks a human being, to me, that's totally unnatural. You have someone who bred it as a killing machine, which is totally not their nature. They, they're better with people than any breed I know. Now, towards other dogs, that is a completely different story. That's when all of the training and all of the management and all of the attention to detail really plays in when you're talking about a pit bull with another dog. And that's part of the huge responsibility. This is where the problem comes in. We're talking about the pit bull now. This dog ends up in the pal. A rescuer or someone with a bleeding heart, they see this dog and they say, wow, look at him, he's so sweet. Let's adopt him. There are too many rescue organizations out there that shouldn't be rescuing this breed. They don't know the breed. They don't understand them. They don't recognize them. I think a lot of people are adopting the bully breeds because, you know, they just want to save something that's in need. You know, if I'm doing a home inspection for somebody that's interested in a, in a pit bull, first of all, they, they need to be a homeowner. They would need to have a secure fence and also a kennel with a top and a bottom. Other dogs would need a place to be also if you're going to have multiple dogs. I think when people first enter, they kind of assume that I have very vicious dogs. And so this is why I have security gates up in the house. But the reality is I became a little nuts and I rescued a fourth dog. Oompa, my red-nosed pit bull who was being groomed for dog fighting, I kind of just brought him in the house, threw him into my little pack, and kind of thought that everything was going to be okay. And it wasn't. The two males started trying to um, figure out who was going to be on top. And three fights have already broken out. So to prevent any more fights from happening, we have the security gates, both my daughter and I made sure that we're going to be safe and they're going to be safe. And on top of that, they go through training every week. People who own pit bulls, the reason they don't want any other breed than a pit bull is because they literally feel like they're so human-like. I don't think they're a problem dogs. I think there are owners who need a better education, but then you attach the reputation, specifically because he's a pit bull, people will freak out. It sounds like a pit bull is a bad word. It should be banned or we should make a PC word for a pit bull. So my PC version is calling her an American Staffordshire. So when people ask, hey, what kind of dog do you have? I say she's American Staffordshire Terrier. So people are like, oh. But if I say she's a pit bull, then you're like, oh. So it all depends on how you uh, word it. I decided to get a pit bull because they have such a bad reputation, even though 100 years ago they used to be the number one family dog. They have such a high pain threshold that kids could ride them and pull their tails and poke their eyes, and, and the dog was neutral so that it, it, it just didn't matter. I belong to an organization called Love and Four Paws, and we provide hospitals with animal-assisted therapy. It's all a matter of training. These dogs are trained to be gentle, and they're bred to be gentle. But pit bulls in general are not mean dogs. We have dogs that visit every child in the hospital at least three times a week for comfort visitations at the bedside. And they're all very gentle and very kind and very well trained to work with hospitalized children. These children had major surgeries. They've been having a lot of pain. And a dog that is just a little bit more comfortable with just letting the child sit there and pet it, touch their ears, pull on their tails, kiss them, hug them, are the best for this. When people think of pit bulls, all kinds of things come to their mind drug dealers, they think of people that are fighting the dogs, but now by any means they're actually bred for temperament to be a loyal, you know, family pet. What I found interesting about this breed is that you can go to these barbecues at the parks, you can go to these dog shows, you can go to weight pulling shows, and when you look around you see whites, Hispanics, blacks, Asians, and they're talking, they're laughing, and they're all there because of the breed. The modern day urban youth see this dog as, oh, this is my dog of pride. This is my dog of pride. And a lot of people is using these dogs, you know,